back on the bandit got the uh, decibel killer back in seems to run a bit sweeter at the low end with the uh, decibel killer in it's plumbing cold again four degrees the forecast this morning rising to about five so what a beautiful clear morning got my leather and leather jeans and boots on today with the thermals the old Harley boots I've had these a number of years really in excess of 30,000 mile in them <coughs> Should be. never let the water and never had cold feet yet yeah. right there comes the visor Here we jolly well go. This is the A17 between Sleaford and Newark. Gonna have a quick ride over to see my mum. Roads are wet. There was a frost this morning, but it's pretty much clear now. You might find that as we get cutting across towards the villages, things are a bit uh, slippery, but the main road seems fine. Really shows Lincolnshire at its best though. Autumn colours on the trees. It's the 19th of November 2016. I had a problem with the camera last time and uh, I think we traced it to the wire that comes out of the GoPro that pulled partially out and was getting an awful lot of static and quite a lot of wind noise these roof helmets aren't the quietest helmet on the market so I've put a little bit of I cut a bit of density foam up high density foam and slipped that over the micro, microphone I've shortened the lead right round uh, and taped it up so that it's taped to the bottom of the GoPro camera and that should help stop the cable coming out again I don't particularly like the camera where it is at the minute you can sometimes feel it on your shoulder when you're moving around in slow traffic and that certainly one of the troubles I've had with the Bandit although it's got the uh, slightly higher bars on now is with this roof helmet when you try to look left and right at junctions and you need to get a, a really good look the helmet catches on your shoulders I'm, I'm quite broad and I find the helmet catches on the shoulders if the ride position was slightly higher then the chin wouldn't it isn't a problem on the other bike because the uh, the bars are up in the air but the Harley don't like this cold weather uh, it's sat in the garage with its with its sheet over it, keeping it warm. The microphone is just a cheap, I think it's a Vitara or some Vivitara or something like that. It's about a fiver off eBay. The camera's a GoPro full black. Uh, it's got 4K definition and all that, which to be honest is a waste of time for me. I'd rather have had slight, I don't need 4K, but I could have done with a screen on the back so that I could check what I've got, but um, anyway, it is what it is. I've ordered a new connection to the GoPro, a 90 degree angled one, so that instead of having a load of the wire and the jack plug stuck out the side and then having to dull back on itself, the 90 degree elbow will go straight down and uh, should, be able to be, should be a bit better. Last time I had the wire all coiled up and had it stuck underneath uh, my jacket but I think what was happening when I was moving from side to side it was alright to start with but then the, uh, the cable started to work loose hopefully we've got round that now by taking everything up out of the way What a beautiful day It's just a shame it's not a few degrees warmer Right, we're turning off here towards Brant Bruton 
in the summer this road's fantastic on a bike you can really give it a bit of uh, shall we say make the ride more interesting but at this time of year and everything's cold wet frozen and what have you also there's a lot of tractors chucking the usual farm produce over the roads that's just what you get if uh, living in rural Lincolnshire I suppose All right. hello you come out feel free this pub here on the right the generous Britain came out here a few years ago with the wife on the Harley and they refused to serve us don't want your type in here yeah I don't know how much wind noise we get in now. The last video I did, there was a fair amount of wind noise. I said these roof helmets being too, having a separate chin piece that folds all the way back, you can wear them as an open face or as a full face. But they're not, uh, not a particularly good helmet for wind noise. If we're on the Harley, we're straight through pipes and we're going any distance, I generally put earplugs in. sorts of rubbish all over the roads. Just before I turned the camera on I went through a section and there was gravel down the middle of the road and you could hear the you could hear the tyres popping and clicking and clacking as bits of stone were being thrown up under the mud guards. But I didn't have the camera running at the time so something about four degrees the forecast is a higher five but hey ho good to see you, mum sections where the road's dry it's really nice but uh, trouble is you can, you can start riding according to the road conditions where you are then all of a sudden you're on a patch of ice or frost or crap out the field or whatever so sensible riding rules the day got the visor open just a tiny bit a little just to try and keep the visor clear so that may present a bit more wind noise on the microphone, I don't know. Shut the visor right down. Turn left here, they go to Basingham, there's a lovely pub there called the Five Bells. It, uh, it's not the cheapest place in the area, but very, very nice. We took the uh, stepfather there for uh, his birthday meal a couple of nights ago. And you're looking about 25 quid a head for a beer and... Well, I had a couple, I had a beer and a, a pint of coke and a uh, mixed grill so even a fat bugger like me struggled to finish very nice too over to the right there you'll just see like a ridge that's the edge of the walls as it cuts up towards Lincoln You'll see Lincoln Castle, uh, sorry, Lincoln Cathedral. You might see the castle, but you'll certainly see the cathedral in a minute. Over to the front there, just slightly off to the left. Let's say this road's beautiful in the summer. At sensible speeds, of course. I don't see the point in putting yourself in a dike at this time of year just for the hell of it. It's, uh,
Tahiti grips on the second setting. So hands aren't too bad at the minute. Fingers on the left hand are getting a bit. I think because you tend to ride sometimes with your fingers resting on the top of the crutch lever. Then you realise they're getting cut, so you grip the grip again. Whereas the right hand, you're mostly keeping your hand on the grip, so you get the benefit of it. I've ordered a couple of uh, like bark buster, I don't know what you call them, grips, wind deflectors for the front. They're general purpose ones off eBay, there's only about 13 or 14 quid. I think I've said before that ones off the Suzuki V Strom are supposed to fit with a bit of jiggery pokery. But if only five could a pair, but if they don't fit, it's a lot of money to chuck away. Whereas the uh, you know, I don't mind paying 13, 14, 15 quid for a pair and having to do the same amount of jiggery poker because right? you're only going to keep them on for the winter. Once you get through to March, April, they'll come off again. And uh, not going to be surplus to requirement. I thought about cutting up some plastic water bottles, you know, like the big uh, four pint milk pots or something like that. And, taping them up or whatever just to see what effect they have but I never did. I said I've ordered these now, they'll be here Wednesday. Well it's Saturday the 19th now so yeah, it looks End of this road, we can go to one of two ways. You either turn right and head into Lincoln on Front Road, but then you're going to hit the city traffic, or we can turn left, go across to Auburn, and cross over next to Mark Phillips' bike shop where he sells all the leathers. That's where I got this jacket from. Nice fella, husband and wife team in there. Now, if you look slightly off to the right, trees up ahead with the junction is, looks slightly to the right, there's Lincoln Cathedral. And if you look slightly to the left of it, you can see the castle, but you're not going to get a very good view from here. around here now because farmers leave them up all over the place and the roads are wet and greasy and horrible. Half of one will be glad to see the next three months get past and get back into spring. The lovely autumn colours on the trees. Look at that, a couple of tractors in the front. Bloke on his push bike in shorts. Yay, yay, yay.
especially the roads aren't bad today. They're, they were, weren't they clever near Grantham? There's gravel and whatever all over the place. But uh, so far, so good here. Look to the right once you go over the bridge, there's Mark Phillips' place that does the leathers and that. Luby used to be a racer of some sort years ago. Nice fella. But we're going to stay on this road. So about three or four miles to Mums now. It's called scanning thought. Actually, the, yeah, some lovely little villages around here. With 30 seconds too late. This time of year as well, you know, I've got a tube around my lower face down my neck, and I've got a like a bandana as well. Because last time I went out, we just uh, 
tube I think it was and warm oh, my lips were so sore for a few days after I wasn't recording at the time but uh, ooh, okay. also you, you, you sort of as you're breathing through three layers of material because the bandana's doubled over of course you get the moisture from your breath gets onto the material and as you progress of course it gets cold because it's wet but hey ho that's how it is bungalow on the end here. A little, little looking place, look right next to the tr oops, oops. The bike just took a bit of a back wheel lost traction briefly, I don't know what to run over. Right, we'll turn left up here. Did I say left? I meant right. I ain't lost. Look the colours on these trees down this little lane, look with the blue sky behind it. Very photogenic. thing that just cheese me off you've got beautiful British countryside like this some beautiful weather albeit cold and all there's no there's not much of it around at the minute you get people come out here and dump their rubbish well surely to get all the way out here from what other hovel you live in to dump all your rubbish why not just take it to the dump in Lincoln it's closer it's free Unless, of course, you're a builder or something. But I can't, just, I can't get my head around people bringing a sofa all the way out here to dump it in the dike when they only have to take it into town. Oh, will it? Scanithal. We've got Hoos's place over there, the old knacky yard. We used to knock around there when we was kids. The first part of the village is actually called Jerusalem. Not quite sure why. It's Scanithal village. But this first part going up to the bend is called Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Microphone's picking up all the popping and banging that's going on where the tyres are running over it. Yeah, a lot of new 
building going on as they bought all these houses had huge back gardens and I don't know, a lot of them were sold up and of course builders are using the land to build lots of little tiny estates down here on the left this was all fields uh, it's all new estate not quite sure what he's doing Old Sheffield Road, that's a, another one Mods Park, well that, that's been there a few years this one's been here a little while now as well, the hill used to stand here at this tree waiting for the school bus when I was a kid well I'm 60 now so that was a few years ago oh look at this, right outside mum's house she's going to love that well I know she has because she's told me about it well at least they're in there she is bless her Small, you're on candid camera. Give us a wave. No, give us a wave. Just wave to the camera. 